Hey guys, Desletter Magic here, and we did it! We went down to the gas station at the end of the block and got some ice cream to make my throat feel better. Oh wait, no, we didn't do that, I did that. And it's probably gonna last about two minutes and my voice is gonna sound like crap, and it was really just an excuse to eat ice cream. Anyway, sore throats aside, I figured I'd make this video because all of society is going to end tomorrow due to a polar vortex. Uh, tomorrow it's going to be negative 21 Fahrenheit, also known as negative 30 Celsius. And the wind chill will be down to negative 50 Fahrenheit, which is about negative 46 Celsius. I might actually get my winter coat out and put gloves on. Like, that's cold. Like, for Wisconsin, that's what we call cold. So anyway, before frozen hell descends upon us and kills us all, I just wanted to let everyone know we did it. And you probably saw this post on my community tab. And it's really clear that really 50% of the people leaving comments really did not see the video with the information setting this up. So with zero context, people were ranging everything from I didn't know you lived in Guam to why are you fundraising your own purchase of this? It's not going to me, assholes. So for the ignorant morons accusing me of crap I didn't do, who apparently have trouble watching more than one in three videos on my channel, somebody on eBay left a product review for Ravnica Mythic Edition saying, well, you refuse to sell to military APO FPOs. Like basically, what the heck, dick move, that sucks. I'm kind of reading between the lines, it was like one sentence, but I, I got the vibe. So the dude who tried to buy from them, um, he's stationed in Guam and he has a... Uh, private P.O. box, and he also has like the APO, FPO, military forwarding address. Shipping to either one of them is incredibly easy. You just drop it in the mail like you normally would and pay exactly the same as if they lived in like California. It's the same price, but they deliver it to even like aircraft carriers out in the middle of the damn ocean for the same price as if it was going to the state right next to you. Yeah, pretty damn good program. But Hasbro, or Wizards, it would appear, because they have not been able to be reached for comment, let's say, they decided, nah, we're not going to ship stuff to military locations. Basically just, you know, middle finger to the troops. Was it accidental or was it on purpose? I mean, this is hyper-liberal Seattle Wizards of the Coast we're talking about. But then again, you know, you do need a special form and whatever, and they might... Is it laziness? Is it... Was it an accident? No, seriously, Wizards, I'm asking you right now because you didn't respond to my email. Nor did Hasbro's PR department. So, without a comment from them, let's just assume they did it on purpose and they hate the troops. Let's go with that. That's my assumption. They would not clarify either way. Well, I find that absolutely disgusting. A lot of my family and friends are in the military right now or were formerly, and they were stationed overseas. So if someone's out on a military base in Iraq and they want to play some damn Magic the Gathering, ship them the product they paid for. It doesn't cost you any more money, you assholes. So a friend of mine helping me out with this because I've been busy with crap at work. Um, uh, she actually got in touch with him and got like his shipping information, all that stuff. She verified, okay, you're on a military base in Guam. They refused to ship to either of the locations, which is odd. It kind of makes me think that maybe it was an accident because one's a private P.O. box in Guam. A U.S. territory, it's just like a Zone 8 shipment. Not the most complicated thing in the world, guys. But they wouldn't ship to that or the APO or FPO. So I'm like, screw this. The guy's stationed out in Guam. Okay, I'm sure his whole family doesn't live there. Like, the dude's a huge fan of Magic the Gathering. So I was just like, why don't we just fundraise the money and send him it for free ourselves? So ultra mega epic baller pimp lord of the universe, uh, Trent from Ohio, was like, I'll set up the GoFundMe. And he's like, yeah, I mean, I, I got uh, one or two on order or something, whatever. If I get one in, I'll, I'll send him one. And then just whatever funds come in, I'll use it to help pay for it. It got funded in one day. It's actually slightly overfunded, which is nice because the shipping was a little bit. And uh, I do believe that Trent actually just threw in some like extra cool stuff that he had. Because I think he said he's going to throw in like extra stuff if it goes over and it went over. So mega thanks to Martina Colbert, Alexander Sidor, the couple uh, anonymous people, Jared Nations especially, and Chris Kreps, who all donated to the GoFundMe to uh, pay for one of these RNA packs and send it out to Guam. I'm sure uh, him and all of his uh, military friends that play Magic will absolutely love it. Jared, by the way, extra super mega pimp Jared, decided to toss in $225 to just cap off the whole dang thing. Jared, I don't know who you are, but you're a massive legend. And once again, ultra thanks to Trent from Ohio for, uh, you know, just putting it in a box. I mean, he, he's downplayed it on Twitter. He's like, I didn't even do that much. I just, I just took it and put it in a box and filled out the thing. 
But yeah, I have a picture. I got the tracking. I've got the label, everything is proof that he sent it. And yeah, it's on its way to Guam right now. Should show up pretty damn quick. So uh, thanks to my friend for uh, handling the communications and crap. She is the greatest. And no, it's not Nicole. We broke up. It's the whole thing. But uh, overall, yeah, somebody who got the cold shoulder and got completely blown off by uh, Hasbro, either accidentally or purposely because they're in the military, uh, now they get the product they were trying to order in the first place, except totally for free. So um, suck it, Hasbro. And uh, thanks for not responding to any of my emails to clarify why this is happening. That's great. Also, at the end of the last video that covered this, I said uh, anybody with uh, an APO, FPO address, basically any military servant person, if you would like, a, it turns out, about 40% off shirt from my Teespring store, in other words, I'm blowing the entire margin to making virtually zero on it, DM me on Twitter, I will reply with a code to give you a massive amount of money off of any shirt so you can, uh, well, let the enemy forces know that you support Desolator Magic. Maybe they're a fan. Maybe they'll stop shooting at you. But it turns out my brilliant ID of send me a photo of your military ID is kind of illegal. I don't know why nobody's allowed to take a picture of their military ID, but that's some kind of policy that like everybody but me knew apparently. So don't do that. Uh, but keep in mind, I can look up your shipping details on Teespring. And if it ain't an FPO APO, we're going to have a problem. And simultaneously, I will know where you live. Don't impersonate the military. So we're going on the honor system, but like literally it's a felony to pretend that you're in the military to get a discount on t-shirts. But anyway, if you are active military and want an epic Desolator Magic shirt uh, for a huge, huge, huge discount, hit me up. I will send you the code ASAP. As for my bro out in Guam, who, by the way, I don't know personally. He just was the first person to leave a review tipping me off about this. Thank you very much. Enjoy your Ravnica Allegiance pack for free. And mission accomplished. We officially bombed Guam. With kindness. I'll see you guys next video.